Hey y'all, happy Valentine's Day. Yay! I'm wearing my red shirt and my red lipstick in honor of Valentine's Day. Today, we're having Taco Bell. The big box, which is basically three items and a drink. And in this case, I got a regular hard taco. I got one of those Doritos nachos tacos and the naked chicken chalupa. I've been told, some of the mukbangs I watch, that uh, that's pretty good, so I can't wait to taste it. In fact, I'm probably gonna bite into it first, okay? So happy Valentine's Day to y'all. I hope everyone has something very special planned, and I hope you have it planned with someone you love. If you're not in a relationship, Valentine's Day, I guess someone made it about relationships, but I've, I've had my kids as my dates before. It's really just spending time with someone you love. Here's that naked chicken chalupa. Check it out. Looks like the outer edge here is um, chicken. I do believe. So here it goes. That's pretty good. Yeah, so it's not a taco shell. It's battered thin chicken shaped into a taco shell. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. You know what I mean? Not real spicy, but a little bit of spicy in the, the I guess the batter of the chicken. I'm just putting some mild sauce on the taco. It says, let's do this more often shall we let's do it so by the time you see this video it will be uploaded on valentine's day but it'll be the night time So, I want to know what you guys have planned, or if you already did it, what you did on Valentine's Day. I don't have anything planned. I mean, I didn't talk to Sugar Plum about it, but he's working late, so... I'm guessing we're not doing anything. I mean, I'm seeing them, but yeah, we're not probably gonna do anything. But I hope y'all enjoy your time. This morning, I was almost at work. It was right at 8 and I got an alarm on my phone that said there was a tornado warning warning until 8.30. It said take cover immediately. It's been a while before I've seen that. The skies are kind of dark, you know. But... I go in, I can tell it's cooler outside, it's pretty windy. And I ask like, where, where's the place to go? And they told me to load bearing wall, so I'm prepared. And then I got another one that said the same thing. But it was good till like 9.30, 9.45. And I looked outside, pitch black outside. The weather changed fast. And there was a tornado that barely touched down in a town about 15 minutes from us. But one never did hit. Like you could see the wind and the rain. And I was looking at this car, and it's like you could see the mist of water 
from the rain being blown against like horizontally against the car and it would go up over the hood of the car and you could just see a stream of water. It was kind of cool and a little scary. But you know, sometimes the news over amplifies stuff. So they're like, if you're in this town or this town, you should take cover immediately. Worst case scenario, or you'll at least get high winds, severe winds. But I did hear little pellets hitting the windows that so sounded like um, maybe small hail. But, you know, I got that new car, so I was looking at it. I didn't see any hail. <clears throat> oh, well. You got that was pretty good. Some people are like, mmm, 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 so, it's so good. Is it time to get it? Well, I don't think so. It was good, but it wasn't that good. I'd rather have a crunch wrap or something. I like those, um, the, the hard shells with the, the flour tortilla on the outside of it. Mm-hmm. This right shell, regular hard taco. Oh, that's my teeth imprint. All right, so today's Tuesday. <clears throat> this coming weekend is the weekend I do bingo. I had that all messed up. This tastes like I have sour cream in it, but I don't think it does. This one says, I had so much fun. This one says, tag your it. And this one says, just the beginning. So, <clears throat> I think I mentioned in one video that they kind of, I just poured this on this piece of paper like this is going to be like french fries. Yeah, I'm going to dip my taco in it. That's going to be a mess. But when have I ever done a video and not made a mess? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking for very much so this weekend. Doing that video with my sister. Um, by the way, I got Diet Dr. Pepper to drink. Good stuff. Chloe's on the floor right here. She might make an appearance. Maybe, baby. Yeah, so I think the video will be fun to make. Plus, I hadn't had spaghetti in a while. I'm looking forward to that. Very much so. My shirt's all wrinkled up. All right. Now I'm onto the nacho. Um, I've had this, really, this one's all broken up. I've had this one before, and it was not much different than a regular hard taco. Look, the shells just crumbled. I can't even eat it. It's going to come apart. What a mess, huh? Where's the other shell? What did I do with it? The other one didn't have a shell. They probably put these in the shell because they know they're crap. It's about to fall over. Can you see it's cracked? Yeah, it's falling apart. Um... This one actually, I can taste the nacho flavor. When I've had this before, I couldn't, but the, the Cool Ranch one, you can. But now, today, I can, so I don't know, go figure. Um, I was gonna have them substitute the hard taco for the Cool Ranch hard taco, 
And then this one, like a soft taco. Mm. This is good. But their box is like $5. And so they wanted to charge extra to substitute. It says you can. But they don't advertise it costs more. I mean, I wonder if those cinnamon things they have. You know what I'm talking about where they have the um, icing in the middle? I forgot to order it. Truth is, I was in line for 20 minutes before they took my order. And I was kind of stuck because I was in a to-go line. Well, I figured that out, but I wanted my food, but I was just frustrated. So when I get to the thing, I could tell people who were getting to the red, to the box to give their order weren't talking immediately. So when I got up to it, <clears throat> they're like, please give us just a minute. Our computers are very, very slow right now. So I explained it all. This had a lot of lettuce in it. This went fast, y'all. I eat fast, though. Um. Yeah, I wish um, I had something planned for Valentine's Day. Or like a substitute day, date plan, but... I don't know. I hope you guys do have a great Valentine's Day. I'm sending my love to you. And I hope that you comment below and tell me what y'all are doing for Valentine's Day. And uh, that is... Oh. I'm not going to end this video because I got a shout out. I have two. All right, Morgan, <laughs> excuse me, Morgan, I'm sorry. Morgan is a new subscriber. She's been watching my videos. Thanks, Morgan, for watching my videos and for subscribing. I appreciate that. Um, and then I've got, I'm sorry if I mispronounce this, a Aaliyah Andrews. She's also a new subscriber. Um, so that was the two people. Thanks um, for subscribing. If you didn't comment, and ask for a shout out and you subscribe for the current subscribers that have been here from day one thank you very much i do appreciate your your subscriptions and your comments and everything so i want to thank you all and i'm sorry i hadn't called you pooksters i gotta get used to that because i think the consensus is pooksters is what y'all should be called so um i'm not used to it but i'll try to work that in at the beginning of the video or something for shemizzle and then I was going to say Heather Richardson um, when me and Sugar Plum asked what videos y'all recommended because we wanted to kind of try, um, you know, if we hadn't seen it already, you know, check it out and see and give you our opinion. And what about Bob was one that Heather had suggested and it's got um, Bill Murray in it and it's an older movie, but it was cute. It was funny um, and it also had a good message behind it. You know, just this guy has got um some issues like ocd or just mental type issues but he's very kind to everybody so the lesson for me was just be kind to people you know and um they're just gonna love you you know um but the therapist was really frustrated because everybody loved him and he was frustrated by him but anyway it was a funny movie i give it two thumbs up i really enjoyed it i didn't watch it i just watched it alone so I don't know if Sugar Plum's seen it. I think I asked him and he hadn't, so I don't know if he will. But I think I saw it on it was on Netflix, I think. But anyway, it was a good movie, so I just wanted to say that. Like this video if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys soon. I'm planning on doing another video before the weekend. Excuse me, the week is young. It's only Tuesday. So take care, and I'll see y'all soon. Okay? All right? Okay? All right, bye y'all.